It's only 15 more days left of the year 2020, one of the most horrible years in U.S. history. The worst year since 1929 when the whole financial world collapsed. 2020 has been a very bad year. Um, the pandemic, of course, the, the election and all the charges of fraud, all the allegations, and then the division of the country. So I talked about this today with Hannity on his radio program. I think it's worth listening to. We'll post it on BillOReilly.com. It's up there now. Um, and I said the, the thing that's so bad about the year 2020 is that we're at each other's throats. The country is divided. I'm going to get into that a little tonight, why we're so divided. But boy, I'm be, and I'm sure you will be too. Happy to see 2020 out of here. Okay, uh, let's begin with uh, the election. And the reason that I'm still on it is because there are a lot of unanswered questions that need to be answered. They really need to be answered for America's future. So there's a McLaughlin report, and it's a pretty good polling outfit. They don't do a lot. Uh, Democrat 37, Republican 36. That's fair. Wow. A fair polling outfit. And uh, they polled 1,000 likely voters. First question, do you believe there was election and voter fraud in the presidential vote? Yes, 46. No, 45. Not sure, 9. Yeah, more people in America think there was some election fraud. Now, that is a very telling, if it's true, and I think it is. Second question. By party, was there fraud in the presidential election? Republicans, 75 percent. So, no to Joe Biden. You want to bring the country together, you got to deal with this. All right, Democrats, 22 percent. Independents, 41 percent of the independents say they think there was fraud. Other findings, 80% of Trump voters say there was fraud. 80% of those who pull a lever, so 74 million voted for him. That's about 60 million people think there was fraud. There's a lot of people. 16% of Biden voters say there was fraud. But even if you don't believe there was fraud, shouldn't you want to know? Isn't that what's best for the country? And the only way you're going to know is that the... Special counsel takes a look at it. Independent counsel. Come on, uh, President-elect Biden, huh? Okay. Now, I got a letter. It said, what countries uh, ban mail-in ballots? Now, we did this report, I think in September, because there was a study published on August 3rd of this year. Studies from the Crime Prevention Research Center. And it went over how nations vote. And um, this was the stat that really struck me. So, you know, the European Union, all right, 27 mostly liberal countries, 63 percent of those countries in the EU ban, ban mail-in voting. OK, unless you are living abroad, then that's an absentee. But mail-in voting in 63 percent of the EU countries, no good. Don't let you do it. Japan. Nope. No mail-ins. France, nope, because there was so much cheating in certain areas of France, like Corsica. In 1975, they outlawed mail-in voting in France. Brazil, nope, and you got to have a voter ID. Mexico, same thing, no mail-ins, voter ID. So it's not a crazy suggestion that the United States government pass a fair election standards law. That says whatever the House and Senate wanted to say. And the states have to adopt the national standard. I always use example because I'm a simple man and this is a simple example. State of California wants to drop the voting age to 12 and don't put it past them in Sacramento to do that. Federal government's got to step in. And now, with most of the country believing there was fraud in the election, we need to address this. So voter ID, a must. Now, don't tell me that some people don't have identification. That's not true. Everybody has a Social Security card. 
Um, so don't give me that. And if it's too much of a burden to show an ID, then okay, don't vote. I don't care. If you're that helpless and that uh, apathetic that you can't get an ID to show, I don't want you to vote because you're a troubled person. I'm not one of these guys to say, oh, everybody has to vote. I don't want people to vote who are out of control, who don't know anything. Now, I'm not going to give them a quiz, okay, but do I want them to vote if you don't know anything? No, I don't. Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. As you all know, the dollar is at a 10-year low, and November could spell real trouble. That's why I recommend you consider physical gold and silver, and the only company I do business with in this area is American Hartford Gold. You can call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they'll give you a free gold coin on your first qualified order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold's up over 40%, silver over 60%. So please don't wait. Call them now, 877-444-GOLD-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532.